Hey guys, welcome back to Glam Finds, and I'm here with another fragrance review. And today, this fragrance that we're going to be talking about is another... I don't know if you guys want to call it an inspired by or a clone, but it's of the beloved Aventus. And the fragrance at hand is going to be from the House of Latafa, Aldur El Magnun Silver. So... First of all, I'd like to thank Intense Oud for sending me this product. Um, if you guys would like to purchase anything from them, I do have a discount code down below. It is just Glam Finds. So click my link, find whatever you're looking for, and use that link. It'll save you 12% off your entire order, um, especially if you've already ordered from them. I think that is one of the better discount codes. And you can use it on anything on their site. So. I have been using them for a while, probably since I started collecting Middle Eastern fragrances. Um, I really like them because A, they gift wrap everything, which I think is so nice, um, and they send you a card. And their shipping is a lot faster than a lot of sites, uh, especially a lot of fragrance sites, because unfortunately when you order something from a fragrance site, it tends to take longer than any other site. So, I... I use them for like most of my Rosasis, a lot of my Latafa, stuff like that. Again, thank you Intense Oud for sending me this for a review. I asked for this because I thought, hey, this is supposed to be a dupe of a smoky Aventus clone. So I know you guys know Aventus has all these batches. And you got fruitier ones, smokier ones. Well, this one is supposed to be a smokier one. And what do I think? What does it smell like? So. If you have not watched my rating Aventus Dupes video with my sister, she pretty much said, this is smoky. Right off the cuff. She's not a fraghead, nothing like that. But apparently they did exactly what they came to do with this fragrance because, yeah, you do get, you know, a little bit of that fruitiness, but it's really, the smokiness is what shines. And to me, even through the dry down, you're going to keep that, um, that smoky feel going. Now, as in a lot of Middle Eastern fragrances, and in fact, actually a lot of dupes of Aventus, this one I prefer in the air to smelling off skin. I think you guys already know with the Club de Nui line um, from our Moff, smelling off skin, you're not getting the same experience as what you're going to get in the air. In the air, it's a lot more pleasant. And I actually find this really pleasant in the air as well. Performance on this, I get between, I would say... I get on average about seven hours of longevity with actually pretty good projection the first hour and a half to two hours. I spray pretty heavy so if you do spray heavy with this um, I would spray about 10 minutes before leaving because it, it does feel really heavy in the first like 10 ish minutes but then as it calms down it's going to actually give you a pretty good sillage trail for at least two hours and a nice projection bubble um, I would say at least arm's length. After that, it starts getting a little bit closer. However, it's going to get you to about the seven hour mark. Your mileage may vary. I have very hydrated skin, and this sometimes goes over seven hours with me. Um, and sometimes it'll get a little closer to the six and a half hour mark. So it kind of depends on the day. Sometimes it depends on how hot it is as well, because that heat eats up the fragrance. But in terms of performance for the price, honestly, I have zero complaints. And to be honest, it's still better than a lot of designers that I own. Who can wear this? Uh, I would say anybody can wear this, but do know that this isn't going to be as fruity as a lot of other dupes of Aventus. So if you're not really looking for anything too smoky, this may not be the one for you. But I honestly think anyone could wear this and I wouldn't put an age on it either. Um, where could you wear this? I feel like this style of fragrance is going to be very versatile. You can wear it daytime, evening. I maybe wouldn't wear it in the, in, in the winter, but I would say spring through end of fall, you're fine, and you still could wear it in the winter. I maybe wouldn't dress it up, though. Um, I would kind of keep this to more casual events. You could wear it to a date night. I just wouldn't wear it to something very formal. But other than that, like I would say daytime, evening, date nights nights out i think it'd actually be really good for nights out with your friends you could totally wear it as a club banger it's a pretty good fragrance i mean i really feel like it's very versatile the nature of this fragrance is very versatile um and you could literally wear it year round however again winter i would go for something a little bit different 
And for a formal event, I would go for something a little bit darker than this. Yeah, it's smoky, but it's not exactly what I would say is like dressed up DNA. In terms of compliments, this DNA tends to pull compliments. Now, in my experience, it does seem like you will likely get more compliments because it is smokier from males than females. Um, I, I still got compliments from my female friends, but it kind of seemed like this one was more of like a one that males gravitated towards. Again, I think it's because it's smokier. I'm not really sure. Uh, I tend to get more compliments with fruity things when it comes to my female friends. Mileage may vary, and it could just be my specific friends, but take that as you will. I just want to give you guys the information, and you guys know I'm very transparent when it comes to stuff like that. So yeah, you're going to get compliments. It does have very compliment-pulling DNA. Just know it's probably going to be a little bit more male-centric, um, but it is really good at projecting, especially for those first couple of hours. So I would say you're going to get more compliments than... So I, I would say you would get... So I would say you are going to get a pretty decent amount of compliments. Price point. So this runs for $35 on Intensu.com. I will link it down below. Uh, again, shipping is really fast. I will link my 12% discount down below as well. If you guys have any questions about this, let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys have tried this, let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys have not already watched my video with my sister rating some of the dupes of Aventus, check that out. I'll also link that down below. Um, there this is not a very sweet fragrance, so keep that in mind. If you want something a little bit less sweet, because I know some of the dupes that are fruitier are more sweet, this might be the one that you are looking for. Again, for those of you guys who have tried this and tried other things, comment down below, let everybody know. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like this video. If you liked it, be subscribed to my channel, hit that notification bell to get notified when I drop new videos, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!